all you fine, beautiful people. Today's video is what well, you saw the title. Spend the day with me, get some things. Let go. Perfect. Now, here's the thing, right? Fashion on Friday, as you know it, may, may, may no longer be a thing on this channel. This channel has gone through some ups and downs. You know, when I first got on here, I was doing a mix of makeup, fashion, skincare. Um, people weren't really watching the makeup stuff. So then I was like, all right, let me get to, you know, focus on the skincare. When I first started really going into the skincare videos, you know, folks weren't like, you know, really like, you know, always feeling the skincare stuff which is cool but then now it's like the skincare stuff is like what performs well especially like sunscreen and hyperpigmentation topics so now like the fashion videos are like eh. but nonetheless like the channel is doing some really great things um that i'm enjoying friday videos i'm thinking about switching to saturday because i feel like the friday videos would get an uptick in traffic on saturday because i would look at the analytics from when the video um published and they would never do like the kind of numbers that like my Sunday and Wednesday skincare videos would get. So, but then they would get an uptick over the weekend. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just publish on Saturday. And it's not to say that you're not gonna see any fashion on here at all, because I'm still the style and beauty doctor. The type of fashion videos I was doing before took a lot of um, energy and resources and things like that. It was a little hard to put in a lot of work only for it to like, you know, not do as well as I wanted it to. So there's that. So Dr. Henry Dunn moved on up to the east side to a deluxe office in the sky so this is my first time heading to her new office so we are numbing gonna do she said she was gonna do a different um laser that she doesn't normally use arrow lays um she said it takes a little bit longer but i am thinking that we are on the like last leg of this i have definitely noticed way less hair um i'm at either this might be either session 10 or 11 but make sure you check out my previous video to learn more about laser hair removal um some of you guys were asking me about electrolysis um that is an option for hair removal um if you don't have that many hairs i unfortunately <laughs> it was haired up <laughs> yeah i might try to get somebody to come on and talk about electrolysis because it is a permanent um way of removing hair um they take you know the individual hairs out you might have to go for a number of sessions um still definitely something where any kind of procedure that you do, <laughs> always make sure you go to someone who has worked with skin of color, like receipts, long receipts, because what can happen is you can have someone um, do it improperly and then it's like, okay, yeah, you removed the hair, but like, gee, thanks, now I'm burned <laughs> and now I have to get rid of this burn. And you know, burns can lead to hyperpigmentation as well. So definitely see somebody who knows what they're doing with skin of color. Like, that's so funny. You know what I wanted to ask you about? Mm -hmm. Um, long-term effects of filler. Cause somebody left a really funny comment. That's funny, I saw that one too. Yeah, and I was talking about fat and I was like, um, you know. Yeah, cause when, I, when you're a can hammer. Can you put fat on your, in your face? You can, um, but it's kind of like, um, when you're a hammer all the world is a nail. If you're a person who doesn't do filler, you just do fat, then fat's best, you know? Okay, gotcha. Um, at my old practice, I used to do some fat. Fat is can be unpredictable. Mm -hmm. um, fat is, if you goof with fat, it's very hard. Because mm -hmm. you can't just remove fat. 
fat, you have to inject like five times what you want and hope that you land at the place that's a little bit less precise. Mm -hmm. I would use it more for somebody with really significant deficits. Okay. Not a young person with just a little bit. Yeah. You know, but everyone has their way. And in terms of long-term side effects, no. As long yeah, as I didn't think so. As long as you're not using um, anything that's like um, non-hyaluronic acid. So if you're using, some people do PMMA with Bellafil. Mm -hmm. They used to use some of it, but not Is that the acid. permanent filler? Yeah. Oh, okay, then that's you, what I read. Then you can have big problems. Um, but when injected appropriately? Yeah. No, no. Because, because I, I mean, obviously, it, I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, I am a Virgo, we tend to know a lot of <laughs> but, <laughs> but, Oh, sorry, sorry okay. my long legs. But, um, Sure. To me, it didn't make sense because I know that filler dissolves, and I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, unless you go to someone who keeps filling you in the same spot, yeah, someone's not watching you and filling you when you don't need to be filled, right? Uh, and that's still not long term. It's just you look, you don't look good, mm -hmm. and you can take it out. Okay. So no long term. It doesn't stretch your skin out. Tuck your for me. It doesn't stretch your skin out. Those are kind of the big concerns. It's gonna stretch your skin out, and then. You won't be able to, no, you know, you just, you have to watch. Some people hold it longer than others. Mm -hmm. So there are people who hold it years and years and years. And so you need to just go to someone who can watch you and see if they, if you actually need it instead of just filling you every year just because. Mm -hmm. That's important. But um, in terms of long term, no. I'm just hoping I don't get fired. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. Not from what age? Check for me. Fired because you're not at work or are you, well, you Oh no, because I'm not shooting Danielle properly. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire. This is, this is like, I was like, but what? Where are you going for yourself? Yeah, this, I like that they lean into um, making lasers for skin of color. Mm -hmm. So, like, their big thing is that this air lace laser, the beam moves really quickly. Mm -hmm. And so it goes in and out of the skin really quickly, not giving enough time to create bulk heating, mm. which makes it really safe for um, black skin. Um, and it's a 1064, which is the you know the wave that we mm -hmm. always use, but it's um it's a microsecond, it's a 750 microsecond laser, so it goes really quickly before it can cause heat damage, which makes it really safe. So I work a lot with them, and they're super invested in making sure they make lasers for they're safe for brown skin. And this is probably from new people who don't know me. Yeah. That why I'm, am I getting fillers so young? And I think it's because they don't realize I'm damn near 40. Mm -hmm. um, but I've had a couple people say that they're gonna wait until they're 50. And my thinking is like, what's your, what, what, what do you no, think? I don't agree with that. So having patients that I've been injecting since they were quite young, mm -hmm. um, it's better to do a little bit over mm -hmm. time than doing a lot when you're 50. Yeah. It's far more natural. Yeah. The tissue, your skin accommodates a little bit of filler better and integrates better than having to put large volumes of filler yeah. that you'll need when you're 50. Right. So that, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. always better to do a little bit early than have to do a lot. I was I was definitely thinking that. Um, and then my last question, what are your thoughts on electrolysis? Oh, I think it's okay. Sometimes I recommend it. So I usually say that, um, if you if you can count the number of hairs, so if it's I have 20 stray hairs, then maybe do electrolysis. If it's more than what you can like reasonably count, then do laser. Mm -hmm. I find laser to be more comfortable. Yeah. Um, but sometimes in brown skin, because we can't burn the follicle or we burn the skin. Mm -hmm. With electrolysis, you're putting the needle in and burning the follicle. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not reasonable for a lot of hair, but I think sometimes we have to balance both. So if we're doing laser, 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 we just have these like five pesky hairs that for whatever reason we can't get, mm -hmm. then I might transition to electrolysis. Or um, we usually can get them. Or if they're gray hairs, because the laser can't see gray hairs, hairs. Mm -hmm. then we do electrolysis. Gotcha. So I'm not anti electrolysis. I just think they're different approaches. Gotcha. Um, and you know, sometimes I, I I do it as well. We actually are thinking about bringing it into the office too. Yeah. Um, just because we I use it so often and it's, it's super easy to do. So it's something. Yeah. Like, I've gotten a couple of questions like, why didn't you do electrolysis instead? And I was like, I think I have too much air for. Yeah, it's grueling. It's, it's grueling, and it's not. Um, I don't think people just think it's like it's this, this easy thing. Yeah. Like, it can be grueling if you're doing. It, did it hurt you a little bit when you did it? When I did the electrolysis, I've never had it. You've never had it. No, no, no. Yeah, it's grueling. It's it's not reasonable to do a lot of hairs. 
Um, we cannot do resurfacing as aggressively as we could in, like, you know, white skin. Yeah. Um, so for us, I think it's even more important to catch it early before we get those etched in lines, gotcha. which are can be really problematic. If I may make a guest appearance, that's definitely <laughs> that's definitely my issue for sure. <laughs> Dr. Henry will attest. I'll get started. It's a little tiny beam, so it takes a little bit longer. Oh, you okay? Yeah, it just stopped. I mean, like, surprise. You okay? Yeah, but it doesn't hurt at all. I feel like little pinches. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and some heat but you know I'm still sorry my long ass legs <laughs> mm -hmm. what kind of peeling can I um I'm trying to determine how much work I can get done this week this is very light okay I like to I, I gradually go up because the TCA can be unpredictable okay so I start really light. this this dose is not unpredictable oh okay. well, I like to see how your skin responds gotcha before it goes stronger a lot of people jump into it but I'm very um pleased with everything so far the way my eyes have been looking, the progress with the cream. Don't do this at home, folks. I know you get <laughs> tempted to buy the stuff online. You see, it's scary at mm -hmm. home. And I see, like, you can get 100 online. Or, you know, 100 is what we used to burn off warts. And Jesus. This place is really cute. The bar room. Say hello to Felicia, you guys. We gotta get her on YouTube, you guys. So just get up in the, I'll put her Instagram, but then you get on her Instagram and be like, get on YouTube, do it. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, Simon. Cause I'm so clumsy, I didn't want to like cheers and then be like, boop, 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 boop. Wow. All right, an update. Felicia was like, oh, I do look red. It was like that time. You know what I think it like, is? <laughs> I'm like, yo, you probably, like, I stopped when it tracks to tell you. <laughs> but think about me, I ain't gonna wait. <laughs> wait, you gotta tell him. <laughs> what, about on the plane? The plane time. Where were we even going? We were coming back from Montreal. Montreal, yes. And so we're sitting on the plane and Danielle is talking to me. And I was, I just turned, I was like, yo, you talking mad loud. You're eating. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. You didn't start when I was talking mad loud. What you did were, I say? You were so gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to think I'm hard, though. Wait, what's that? No, you were super gentle. Because first you were like, like as I'm talking to mm -hmm. you, like, like how you looking at me now? Right. He was like, he was like, mm hmm yes. <laughs> and then he was like, what are you doing? Are you close? <laughs> <mean? laughs> and you were like, no. I wasn't picking up what you was putting I down. Mean, you were picking up the, the, the context clues. And then finally you had to be like, you talking mad loud. I'm like, yo, you talking mad loud, B. <laughs> and then we just started falling out laughing. <laughs> and just like now, I'm talking like you missed it. So I'm like, yo, your eyes are mad purple. <laughs> oh, shoot, and I'm crying. And I didn't realize it. You know what it is? I think because... It looked like I got a filter in my face because I think she put so much um cream cream um the steroid cream. Oh okay. <laughs> but when I put the mask on, it was burning here a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what that irritation is from the mask. But hopefully it'll go down. Yummy. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all, <laughs> these Brussels sprouts, I mean, this is not, I'm not left-handed, but the phone's <laughs> in my right hand. <laughs> you look so exquisite. What do you think? Mm, delicious. But you look so exquisite. Back to you. Mm -hmm. Like the whole backdrop with you, you look so exquisite. I am exquisite, darling. Let me know. <laughs> oh, the outdoor situation. This is for this restaurant right here. But we went to bar room. We got a cute little outdoor situation. All right, so we are what? Two hours post. My skin looks very um. I don't want to say greasy shiny probably because she did put like the steroid cream on there and then i'm not quite sure if i remember what she put underneath my eyes but um like when we were in the restaurant it did kind of look like it was starting to get like a little irritated underneath here which made sense because i put my mask on and the mask was kind of like rubbing up against here so then i kind of pulled it down a little bit but so far so good so the thing with the peeling i'm gonna do that in a separate video so if you want to you know, uh, learn more about that whole experience. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel um, because I'll do a separate video on the peeling. But if like right now you're like, oh my God, I, I, re I would really love to know what this woman looks like when she peels. <laughs> there is a peel video when I got a VI peel um, that had to have been maybe two months ago, three, no, that was more than two months ago, but check it out. It's, it's here on the channel. Today I got a TCA peel, which is a little bit stronger, um, but she did a, you know, lesser, because TCA peels have different um, percentages of um, uh, strength, let's just say that. And um, I believe she said she did a 10% TCA. In one mile. My bad, y'all. My GPS was like jumping in, like <laughs> this is a cipher. Um, she said that with the TCA, that she's gonna kind of pace me. Me, slow, low and slow. That's that's for me. I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of crazy, you know. Not that she. I don't think she would um, do that anyway, <laughs> even if I like, wanted it. But I'm not trying to do anything crazy that is going to irritate my skin because I don't want no smoke, okay? Everyone's skin is different. People can tolerate different things. Um, but me, myself, personally, low and slow. And if it's your first time using something, definitely go low and slow because you don't know how your skin is going to react. Okay, hopefully I can even get this. Y'all, I know this is mad random, but I just saw this billboard, Coca-Cola with coffee, and I'm like, I want to try it! All right, so... You know, the flexibility of this being a vlog means that, not that I can just throw anything in here, because you know, y'all got other things better to do than to hear me rambling about crap. But the flexibility of a vlog is that I can add other things that may not be directly related to the main topic of this video without having to make a brand new video solely about that topic, if you know what I mean. So I definitely think that I want to start dating again. I took a little, I always take like little dating hiatuses just because it'd be like, y'all know how it is out there dating. I, I'd done some of the apps before and I kind of feel like <laughs> some of these guys, I'm like, but who hurt you? Because <laughs> y'all, y'all got some problems that you might need to see a therapist about. And I kind of would prefer to like have someone set me up with someone, you know what I mean? Because those apps, <laughs> God, those apps can be so like, it can be a lot. <laughs> let, let me know in the, in, the disc, in the description box. Let me know in the comments your experiences with apps because I just feel like as much as they give these men, some of these men access to these apps, they need to give them access to um, stuff like the better help and all those other like therapy apps as well. Because whew. anyway, but my dilemma here, right? I had no interest in dating in like when we were in lockdown, lockdown last year. Um, I was just basically focused on like surviving and not getting the, the, the virus, the illness. But um, now I'm like, all right, cases are down in New York, but obviously coronavirus is still a thing. How the hell am I dating people when I'm not even seeing, like I haven't even seen my family in almost, it's, it's gonna be two years soon since I, <laughs> I've seen my family. Like, I, 
I'm nervous about seeing them because, you know, we don't live in the same household. But how am I going to be dating these dudes? Like, you know, obviously I'm going to wear a mask. But the thing with wearing a mask, right? <laughs> There's certain things that you want to do that is that going to require a mask? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm being like, I don't want to say too much to get demonetized up and all up and through. But I think you know what I mean. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can check out my progress with, you know, the PO. I'll put that in a separate video. Um, for more information, like more in-depth information on filler, Botox, laser hair, definitely check that out in the other videos. I don't know why this person is doing this because they can't drive. That's why they're doing that. Um, <laughs> make sure you check out those other videos. I'll leave them linked above and below. Follow me on social. The links will be also in the description box. And I'll see you fine folks in my next one. I'll be Vidurji. We'll see what, what this new Saturday's schedule is going to do and, and see if you like some of the content ideas that I have brewing. Peace out.